Hello and welcome to this beginner's guide to ReadLang. In this video I'll show you how to browse for articles within ReadLang, to read them and translate the words and phrases that you don't know, to import articles from elsewhere on the web into ReadLang, um, and then to learn the words and phrases using flashcards. You want to start by clicking the Start Now button. And here you need to pick your languages. Your first language in this box, for me it's English, so I'll leave it as it is. And the second one I will also leave as it is, it's Spanish. But uh, there's a large selection of other languages here. And if you're not sure what they mean in their original spelling, you can see the English translation as you hover over. I'll leave it at Spanish and press continue. If I want to change this later, I can go to the top of the screen and change either my first language or more likely the language that I'm learning. With this it's possible to be learning multiple languages at the same time. I can switch between Spanish, French, Italian and all the other languages. I'll stick to Spanish for now. And here the first page that we're looking at is the public library. This contains texts that other users have shared on ReadLang. Uh, the little code on the side is the difficulty level on a scale from A1 going through A2, B1, B2, C1, C2 from easy to difficult. Um, I will pick a text to read. This one um, is a Wikipedia article about Madrid. I click OK. Uh, and now I can click the next page button to work through the article. Uh, this is just some statistics and here's where the, the meat of the article starts. Now the idea is to try to read as much as you can without the aid of translation. Uh, but for, for those times when you do need to translate the word, all you have to do is click on it and it translates to your first language using Google Translate behind the scenes. Um, so with this is very quick and it doesn't interrupt your flow of um, understanding the article too much. Let's click on another one. Poblad is populated. If I'm not completely convinced by the translation and I want to see some alternatives, I can click this button to show a sidebar. And here I see some alternatives from word reference. Um, so they give me some alternatives like town, village, area, place. In this context, I would say populated makes the most sense. It's the, the city, the most, uh, the largest and the most populated of the country. Let's click on some others, mientras, and while I click on them, this panel updates to show the definition of the other words. Habitantes is inhabitant or people. Um, and now sometimes just translating one word isn't enough. There may be a whole phrase that you're not sure of. And in this case, you can just drag across uh, a phrase. If I click on E and move my mouse across to Ciudad and then release the mouse button, then it should translate the phrase. But first, to enable this feature, I need to sign up. So let me just create a new account. Um, and click the sign up button and then it asks me do I want to import uh, my one book and four words that I created in trial mode onto my online account I will press OK so then my online account will have this book plus the words that I've already translated which I can then access from any computer or device. And now I have access to the phrase translate. Um, so let's try uh, Es la cuarta ciudad más rica. It's, it's the fourth largest city. Um, uh, as well as clicking and dragging, I can click on words one at a time. So I can click Empresas Españolas son generados, uh, so Spanish companies are generated. 
Um, and this can be very useful for idioms or phrases which indiv in an individual literal word-by-word -word translation don't really make sense when you convert them to another language. Um, I can't see any really good examples on this page, but it is, um, it's very useful. So, after you've done a bit of reading, you'll want to perhaps go to the flashcards to reinforce the, um, and test yourself on the, on the words and phrases that you've translated to make sure that you remember them. Um, I'd recommend reading a lot more first to, to have a larger quantity of words there, but, but just to demonstrate it, I'll just show it to you with these six. So, um, también conocida, uh, also known. Yep, uh, that's correct, so I can say perfectly. But before I do, um, I always recommend the first time that you encounter a word in the flashcards, and there's a message telling you here, you should verify and edit it to make sure that it's really correct. So let's just take a look at what Word Reference thinks of this word. They also think that it uh, is known, and from the sentence it, it, it makes sense. So I'm confident, I'm pretty happy with this one. I'll just leave it as it is and say that perfectly. I, I remember that. Es la cuarta ciudad más rica. It's the fourth largest city. Oh no, sorry, richest city. Um, so, uh, es la cuarta, I, I th think to improve that slightly, it should be it is the fourth richest city, or it's the fourth richest city, and I say I almost remembered that, I got a, a I slipped up a little, I said the fourth largest, um, while, mientras is while, these are a bit too easy for me. Um, I just picked them for the example to demonstrate it to you. Um, empresas españoles son generados. Uh, Spanish companies are generated or created. Are generated, yep. I'll say perfectly again. But if you say, uh, if you don't know it at all, you click not at all. If you sort of were getting there, but you still didn't quite get it, you click almost. If you got it but after struggling a bit to, to think what it was, you say yes just. And if you just knew it right away, you say perfectly. And from this feedback, Reed Lang knows how well you know each word and phrase and can schedule your learning accordingly. Um, if you know something very well, then it'll wait till further in the future to test you it again. All these words now will come back tomorrow because it's the very first time I'm seeing them. But if I know them perfectly again tomorrow, then it'll wait six more days until it tests me again. Whereas if I don't know it, then it'll come again the next day until until I do, and and so on. It, it um, the, the the spaces between each fla uh, appearance of the flashcard will get larger and larger. So if I know a word well after those six days then it'll wait two weeks before the next time, say. And then if I know it well after the two weeks, then it'll wait another uh, a month or more until it tests me again, uh, until I don't know it, and then it will reset back to uh, to, to show it to me the next day again. Um, but let, let's carry on. I'll say I know this perfectly. Poblada is populated. Uh, habitantes are inhabitants or people. Uh, maybe I can just check that one. Inhabitant, word reference says. Um, uh, people is fine as well, really. Uh, I'll, I'll keep people there and just put inhabitants as an alternative. Save that and say yes. También conoce... Uh, and now it's doing it the other way around. Now that I know how to translate from Spanish to English, it's asking me to try to think what the word is in Spanish, which is more difficult for me because Spanish is my second language. Um, so, también conocido or conocidos, no, conocido, conocida. Uh, I got the um, the gender wrong there, which is tricky for a, uh, for an English person. The, the, the uh, languages, the genders are a bit uh, tricky. Um, so let me say I almost got that one. 
It's the fourth richest city. Es la ciudad, es la cuarta ciudad más rica. Es la cuarta ciudad más rica. Yeah. While is mientras, Spanish companies are generated. Uh, empresas españolas son generados. Son generadas. Son generados. Ah, that was uh, good enough. <laughs> Uh, it, it, it's kind of up to you how strict you want to be with yourself. Um, but perhaps if, if you're starting out, you don't mind too much if you slipped up with the gender or if you slipped up with the conjugation of the verb slightly. I don't know how strict you want to be. Uh, I like to be fairly strict, but, um, but, the, but that's really your call, I'd say. Uh, it, uh, y la más... Poblada del país. I guess you want to become more strict the more familiar you get with the, the language. Um, I got that perfectly. Uh, habitantes. Perfectly. También conocida. Yeah, I got it right that time. And if I'm not sure how to pronounce a word, there's this button here. I can click that. Conocida. And it pronounces the word for me, which is helpful. I knew that one. And now I'm at the end of my test, and it tells me when I'm next due to see each one of these words or phrases. Um, they're all due fairly soon. As I use the system over days, weeks, months, and years, then the, these dates could get very, very long. Um, and that way, by spacing out the words uh, that you are doing pretty well with over a long time, then the system allows you to learn hundreds or thousands of words by practicing only a f perhaps uh, 10 to 50 words per day, um, which is, I, I find it to be a very, a very good system. And if you search on the internet, it, the the idea behind the system, it's called a spaced repetition system, and there are quite a lot of different implementations of this, and a lot of people agree that it it's a really good way to learn a lot of, um, a, a large amount of, of facts like you encounter when learning vocabulary in a foreign language. Um, okay, so n now I've got no more cards to test myself with. Um, it's really time for me to get reading again. And this time, I think I will want to read something from elsewhere on the web. Not one of the articles built into ReadLang within the public library, because the public library is, is quite small at the moment, and even for some languages, it's uh, empty. So normally, the way that you'll be getting content to read will be from elsewhere on the web. And that is very easy to get into ReadLang or to... Uh, to read with ReadLang, you click the Add Document button and then click this Get Chrome Extension button. I notice I've already got it installed on the machine, so let me remove it just for the purposes of demonstrating. Um, if you're using Firefox, I'll make another video showing you how to get exactly the same functionality in Firefox. Uh, for this video, let me click the Get Chrome Extension. From this page, uh, I can just find out a bit about the extension. You can see some nice reviews here from some nice people who've uh, left four or five star reviews. Thank you. <laughs> and install the button by clicking there. Add. And now the button has appeared in Chrome. Now I can go to any other page on the web. Let's go to El País. This is a popular Spanish newspaper. Let's get the first article. Now when I click this uh, ReadLang Web Reader and Importer button, I get the Web Reader toolbar. And this gives me the functionality of the we ReadLang Reader within this web page. So I can click uh, and, and drag across a phrase and it translates it into my language. The Trans the word or phrase and the context sentence is also stored to your ReadLang account for testing with the flashcards. 
Um, if I want to get the word reference dictionary, I can click this button and it opens a sidebar. Let me shrink the window a bit. Uh, and now whenever I click a word, the sidebar shows some alternative translations and, def and examples. And one last thing is if you, uh, if there's a link on the page like this one, if I click it, it translates at the moment, but perhaps you want to follow the link, in which case just click the disable button to disable the web reader and then you can click to uh, go and follow that link. Let's go to another page and open the web reader again. And now let's say this time I want to import the article into ReadLang to read it in uh, a distraction-free environment without all these nasty adverts all over the place. Uh, let's click the import button, open in ReadLang. And now I've got the same article, but just the, the text of the article in ReadLang for me to read in this environment, which I can do here or if I log into my account on my iPad or my phone, I can, I can read the same thing. So that uh, concludes my beginner's guide to ReadLang. I hope you enjoy using it. I'll, I plan to make a few more of these videos to cover more advanced features. So I hope you come back to, to learn some more. Uh, thank you and see you later.